Okay then gang, so we have the bare bones of our formic form created. We have the formic component with some initial values for title, body and rating. We have the on submit function, which is just logging those values to the console when a user submits. And we have three input fields, one for the title, one for the body and one for the rating. And formic is handling the state and the values of these input fields as a user types into them in the background because we use these handle change functions here when the text changes inside the text inputs. So formic handles all that in the background. It stores the values on the props.values property, then we get access to those at the end when we submit. Now, we want to actually do something with those values. We want to take those values, create a new review object from them and add them to the state right here so that then it's displayed on the home screen. So the way we're going to do that is by first of all creating a function inside this home component. We need to do it in here so we can interact with the state and then we're going to pass that function as a prop into the review form. So let's create the function first of all and I'm going to call this add review. So const add review and I'm going to set it equal to an arrow function. We take in a parameter called review. And that is basically going to be this thing right here because this is an object with these three values on it. The title, the body and the rating. And also these have a title, body and a rating, but they also have a key. So we just need to add a key to that value as well. So let's now say review dot key and generate that. And again, I'm just going to use math dot random and then to string. Now, again, I know this is not the best way to create a key, but for simplicity, this is the way I'm going to do it because the chances are of us getting a duplicate key are pretty low. And this is not going into production. This is just for the sake of this tutorial. In reality, you'd have a better way of generating a unique key, whether that's from your database or using some kind of third party plugin or library. For us, this will do. So. What I'm going to do now is use the function set reviews to update the state, this function right here. And inside here, we pass a function which is going to return the new state. Now, this function right here takes the current or the previous reviews. So I'm going to call it current reviews. You can call it what you want, but that is the current state of reviews because we're going to depend on that. And in here, all we're going to do is return a new array. So return, oops, if I can spell, return and then this array the first thing we want to do is place the new review in that array and then secondly we want to spread the rest of the reviews out so the current reviews so we use this syntax to do that and place current reviews after it so it takes all of the current reviews inside the state spreads them out into the array as well but we place the first review here that we get from the values in the form before it so it should appear at the top now so that's kind of done now. There's one more thing I want to do inside this function though, and that is set modal open to false. So when we submit the form, it's going to run this function eventually. It's going to add the new review to the state over here, and then it's going to use set modal open and set that to false. And remember, when it's false, it means the modal doesn't show. So when we submit the form in the modal, it's then going to hide the modal as well, which you would expect. So let me save this. And in fact, we need to pass this into the review form. So I'm going to do that by saying add review is equal to add review like so. Oops. And this needs to be inside the curly braces like so. OK, now we can save that and go and accept this inside here by destructuring. So add review and we want to call this inside this function. So we can say here, add review and pass in the values. That's all we need to do really, right? So I'm going to save this now. And in fact, let's take this away. We don't need this anymore. I'm going to save it and see if this works. So let's go to add one. I'm going to say test and the review body is testing one, two, three, and the rating is going to be three. Submit it. It hides everything and we can see test here as well and we get the rating and the body and the title awesome so that is looking pretty good 
Now, one more thing I want to show you, and that is how to reset the form. Now, in our case, we didn't really need to because we closed the modal and that took it away from us. When it opens again, it's going to reset the form to its original state automatically. But imagine that we didn't do this step right here. Say this was a form somewhere else on a different screen and it didn't appear in a modal or close. Watch what happens now. If I now try to add one when it loads, so click that, blah de blah, blah de blah, and four. If I submit now, then it doesn't clear the form. So I'm going to show you how we can actually clear the form. And we do that up here by passing in a second parameter we get access to called actions. And these actions contain different methods that we can use. And one of those methods is reset form. Okay? So all we need to do is call that and it resets the form back to the original state, the initial values. So if I save it now, I'm going to try this once more before I uncomment this again. And in fact, because I saved it while the modal was open, this is the paddy I was talking about. I'm going to close this off and I'm going to go over to the Expo Tools and I'm going to run this again and I'm going to restart the app. So if I open this up now, I'm going to try adding some dummy review stuff and submit and now it clears the form for us okay so that's a nice little method we can use on these actions now i'm going to actually uncomment this so that it does close the modal again now there's one more thing i'd like to do and that is dismiss the keyboard when we press away from it so right now if we click over here it's not dismissing the keyboard i like to be able to do that so to do that Remember, all we have to do is surround this stuff right here, all of this stuff, with a touchable without feedback component. And then when we touch that, we can then dismiss the keyboard. We've seen how to do that in the past. So all I'm going to do is go back to this modal right here, and I'm going to surround everything inside the modal, so this view included, with a touchable component. So let's first of all import that. We've got touchable opacity, but I'm going to comma here and go to the next line. And I'm also going to import touchable without feedback. And I'm also going to import the keyboard because we're going to need that to dismiss it. So those two things have been imported. Now we can go down here and we can create the touchable without feedback component. And we can nest everything inside that. So let's place the closing one after the view, like so. And we need an on press prop. And that is basically going to dismiss the keyboard. So I can just say keyboard dot dismiss, like so. Now we don't have to invoke that because we're just passing a function reference. If we invoke it, it's going to automatically invoke it before we even press anything. Okay. So just a reference to the function. Then when we press it, it runs that function. So this is the same as me doing this, wrapping it in an anonymous function and invoking it inside the function, okay? So we don't need to do all that. We can just pass the function as a reference there so that it runs it when we actually press it. So I'm going to get rid of this and then I'm going to save this again and hopefully this should all work now. So let's try opening the modal and I'm going to open up the keyboard, add some kind of title, click somewhere and it closes the keyboard. So let's try the same here. Click somewhere, closes the keyboard, add a rating, and then press submit. Everything closes, and we get the new item in our state. Awesome. So that is the formic side of things pretty much done, but we still need to add some validation to the form because right now I could do anything. I could do a review title, which was like this, and then I could do a review, or even not add a review body, and then I could do like this for the review rating and submit it. It's going to let me do that, but then obviously this is not correct. So we need to add some validation and we'll do that in the next video using another package called Yup.